Today's computerised GPS directed fertiliser spreaders are light years away from the original machines in both operation and outcome. Grant Smith knows a thing or two about the latest innovations that now allow coverage of 12 to 20 metres at a time with absolute precision as he helped develop them. I run a spreading company called Smith Spreading. I've been doing it now for about 13 years, I think. I was farming for 30 before that, so I had a change of direction in my life and, and uh, decided what, what could I do apart from farming, and, and I uh, decided to buy a spreader truck. We're now operating three units, two with trailers. Um, I drive the little one, it's quite handy. I sometimes get home early at night, but not always. But yeah, we've just, uh, back in January, we took on our third driver. Yeah, it's, it's growing, but we don't want to get it too big. This year has, has been incredible, that the workload. It's been pretty tied up till then for a few years, but there's a lot of money around in the farms at the moment, and what they're not spending on debt, they're spending on fertiliser, it seems. So, yeah, we're um, reaping the benefit of it, I guess. Well, I've been going on a fishing trip down in Marlborough Sounds, and the, the guy on the fishing boat, uh, by the name of Dave Fishburn, had a GPS system in his boat, and all it did was track a line of where he was going and he could keep that on his system and, and I kept thinking about it and I thought that's got to help us and I put it in the truck and it did, it gave us just a line and you could guess the, the width of the lines apart, you know, your spreading width and you could see where you've missed a bit or you've got too close and overlapped, taking a lot of the guesswork out of our, our spreading widths. So that's, um, I put it in the truck and, and uh, it worked well until I sold the truck and, and the unit had to go with it apparently. So uh, then I started looking around for, for another unit. I went to Canada and a mate of mine over there found the Outback system. There was two separate units. One was a light bar to give you your spacings and the other one had, a, had the map, but it was a little wee screen. But the beauty of the Outback system is it had a camera card in it and you could take that camera card home and put it in your computer and you could print your own map. Colin Brown from TrackMap arrived in the yard one day and I thought, there's this turkey. And uh, he wanted to know um, how the Outback, Outback system worked, because so, he was developing a, a, a GPS system for, for spreader trucks. And I told him, you know, how, I showed him how it worked. We spent about two hours just driving around, around the yard. And I told him, pointed out the good things about it, and I pointed out a few of the bad things. And one was the screen size. The Outback system was far too small. And so Colin went away and, and, um, and developed the track map one, and, and I will. I actually feel part of the, the track map development now there. It is New Zealand developed and the good thing about that is it's designed for New Zealand conditions. A lot of the overseas ones are designed for square flat paddocks where this is actually designed for to use in rolling hills as well and that's because we, we use a wide range of satellites, not just the satellites above us but also the satellites on the horizon so we're always in contact with a satellite. If we just go into our menu and go enter, now these are all the satellites that we're using at the moment. So the satellites are picked up by this little receiver here, which is stuck onto the roof of the truck or the tractor. And as you see, there's a whole range of satellites uh, here. The small circle represents the satellites directly above us, and this large circle on the outside represents the satellites from the horizon right through, like an umbrella effect. Once you've finished the job, a contractor can download that information either by putting in a memory stick in the back and downloading onto that, or he can, use, he can send that information to us and we can store it in our back office system and then either email it to him on his request or email it to the client. The computer system that runs this truck, the spread system, is a train spread computer, which is quite a popular one, and that regulates all your spreading. So you arrive at the job, you need to, to set the spread width to suit the product. You program the GPS if it's a new job, new customer, enter the customer details into the screen and the spread width you want to spread it to co-relate with your ground spread computer. There's been a lot of changes in the industry. The clients are after precision now and they like to see it being spread very precise. They like to know where it's going and um, it takes a lot of guesswork out of the industry. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.